You guys have been commenting on how we might be able to get a three-star raid on this base with Royal Witchcraft. Are we going to succeed? I have no idea. We're going to try it live in today's Clan Wars. Oh, wish me luck. We're going to need it. Prepare for Clan Wars. Hi guys, Spencer23 here, welcome back to another episode where I am going to hopefully do an amazing attack. Well, I don't know if that's going to happen, but before we go into my raid, um, I just want to show you a raid by Rob in this clan war. So he's often using the five golems and he's getting three stars on the lower level town hall 10. So this one's just happened. Um, now, if you were watching yesterday, you will remember that I did plan to do a witch raid on base number 29. So we're going to do that live in a minute and ask you guys for your suggestions on how we might go about doing that witch raid. Um, a lot of you are pretty close as to what's going to happen or at least what we're trying to achieve. Um, but I'm going to show you in a minute why it's going to have to be a little bit different. Um, to what you might think. So we had a look at one of Glider's raids. Um, we're going to try and emulate his raid, but there are some differences. We're going to have to do it slightly different. Um, and I have had a word with Glider, and hopefully the plan we have come up with is going to allow us to get a three-star. But <laughs> you never know with these raids. You just don't know what's going to happen. I'd really like to have a three-star witch raid. I've not had one for such a long time. In fact, I've not had a three-star for such a long time. I've tried all kinds of crazy raids. So maybe today is the day. Uh, so we're going to win this clan war, um, which is why we can try out a few three-star raids. That's what we normally do if, we, uh, if we're ahead and we know we're going to win. That gives you the chance to three try and practice some three-stars without too much fear of losing or having epic fail. Um, it's not going to influence the outcome of the war. So there we go. That's Rob. He's just another three-star. Not a, not a max base, uh, but he three-stars these pretty easily using his go wipe strategy which nobody likes go wipe in war apparently anymore but uh seems to work for rob pretty fine well done rob where's his queen has his queen died oh that's a shame it would be nice to finish with his queen because there is a lot of troops there look how many troops he has left it's a, it's a whole army he could probably attack another base with just what he has left well done rob Right, I'm, I, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready! Okay, we're going to have to go and... Let's go and take a look at the base that I'm going to have to attack. The, uh, <laughs> where is it? Base number 29. Here it is! So this is the one that we've got to raid. Um, so you might notice there is a little bit of a difference between this base and the replay that I showed of Glider getting a three-star in this same war. So this is the base that Glider raided. Um, I'll show you that up on the screen and you'll notice that there are no buildings on the outside That's the first thing that's slightly different and the walls don't protrude uh, out quite as far So on this we can't use wall breakers to just break in Otherwise we will trap our golem inside one of those side boxes because it doesn't break us in to the main section um, So we've decided we're going to do a little bit of a queen walk to get rid of some of these outside buildings So that they don't send us a bit AWOL and instead of wall breakers um, let's have a look at, I can probably put this up on the screen, here we go, um, this is how Glider did it, now he can use the wall breakers over on the right hand side because that breaks him into both compartments, we can't do that, so we're going to have to use a jump spell, I didn't notice anyone in the comments picking this out as a problem, um, but that is certainly something that is going to be an issue, the clan castle is on the far side, normally you'd go for the multi inferno side but you don't want to activate the clan castle with your queen so we're going to come from the single inferno side just like Glider did. So I'm going to get these troops ready and I'll be back in just a minute, here we go. Okay guys I'm back, everything's ready, uh, we're going to have to do this, oh, can we postpone this, I'm not ready. <laughs> So here is the plan, we're going to get our queen, we're going to put her just to the left of this dark spell factory, get our healers just to the right, we don't want them taken down by the air defence, and hopefully once she's cleared this she'll come back over to the builder's hut, and then we can break her in on the left. Troops are ready, let's do it! Okay, so this first part of the raid shouldn't be too hectic, not a lot going on, we should be able to do this. I'm glad to see that the air defense isn't targeting my healers. 
So that's looking good. So hopefully the queen shall go over to the right. She'll take the archer tower. She'll take the barracks. But this hut is the closest to the edge. So she should, fingers crossed, come back over uh, and go into this box. She, these, we've had to increase the number of healers. I've got four instead of the three that Glider used because my queen is not as high. She's come back over. Okay, so she's going to go into this box. So far, so good. Wow, she's going down a little bit quicker than I had anticipated. I'm going to have to use her special ability. So I've got my jump spell and get the golem over on that side. What is happening to my queen? Trying to keep an eye on what's going on. Need this wizard tower down. The golem will be able to get to it. What is going on here? My queen is... Oh, the air sweeper! It's... I didn't factor in this air sweeper. It's pushing it just enough. Oh, no. And look at my wall breakers. They've gone off to the right. They've been attracted by the jump spell. This has gone wrong. This has gone terribly wrong. We've lost the queen. Uh, we're going to have to... We're going to have to bail. Mayday. We're going to have to go for two stars. We can't go any further with the queen. So we don't normally send the king until the larries are in the middle box. But I've sent him early because I'm going to let him jump into the middle. We can't get a three star anymore. We might as well just save a bit of face and try and go for the two. Saving a few wizards for this. Oh, that is such a shame. I, did I get the king's ability then? I think I probably missed it. Uh, he was going down anyway. He was under target from the single. Uh, are we going to get this two star? We need to make sure we get the two star. Otherwise, that will be pretty bad. So everything was going really well, really exactly to plan. I didn't really consider that air sweeper. I'm not sure anybody else had spotted that air sweeper and, and mentioned that either. You don't think of it sometimes when you're doing a ground attack. I, I genuinely think that would have worked if not for that. If our queen had still been going, our king should have been walking around to the right. He would have made it all the way to that wizard tower and that mortar. I think we are going to get the second star though. Oh, that's so disappointing. So I think we're going to have to go back and look at that again. We'll, so if you guys are wanting to try a similar raid to this, we can take a look at what went wrong so that that doesn't go wrong for you guys. What a disappointment. I'm really upset by that. That's a, that's not fair. It's a dollar fail. Damn it. Boo! Boo to the dollar fail! I, <laughs> that is not the outcome that we wanted, guys, at all. Uh, what a shame. Let's see if the guys have got anything to say. Maybe some of them are watching the live replay. Um, I think it was going exactly as we hoped. Uh, it's the wall break. Yes, I don't know if the wall breakers changed the outcome of the raid, but I didn't think about them actually being attracted by the jump. I'd have preferred them to be in the middle, uh, but the witches still did head into the middle compartment, so I don't think that was was pretty much... I don't think that affected anything. Glider was happy with it up until the queen died, so I think we would have been all right. I really think we could have done that. It's a shame. Oh, those... Mm. Right, so I think what we'll do, we'll take a look... Uh, at that raid over again. We've got a few three stars in here. We are going to win the war. It's 109 to 93. Let's just explain what the problem is with my king. And that is that he's a baby. That's not really my king's fault. He was targeted by the single. He was never supposed to go into the middle box. He's supposed to go around. But we had to send him early. Try and get the two stars. Right. So let's have a look at the fail report. Let's see what went wrong with this raid. So the Queen, she went exactly where I wanted her to go. Um, thinking back now, what we should have done is we should, with this air sweeper being where it is, we should have done the King on the left and the Queen on the right. Such a very simple change to tactic that would have changed this entire raid. Oh, that's unfortunate. So yeah, she did do what we wanted. She took the Archer Tower, she took the Barracks, and then she came back over, took the Hut. So far, so good. We broke into this box uh, to allow her to go for these... Uh, the air, air sweeper for the mortar and the wizard tower i don't did i need to use her ability here she was going down pretty quickly and i think by the time that air sweeper air blast would have got those air, uh, the, those uh, healers i think she maybe would have gone down at that point if we didn't use it Gollum went where he was supposed to i don't think anything was going wrong at the other side so we should have switched sides really the queen i think four healers was enough whilst those healers were on the queen she was just staying alive um, the golem has gone on to the wizard tower. And look at that, the wall breakers, they were attracted over to the right by the jump spell. So instead of it being directly in the middle, which is where we wanted these skellies to go, they did go over to the right, but the jump spell in the middle did attract them to the central box, so that didn't affect this raid. I don't think, I don't think that was a problem. I think it's all down to that air sweeper. 
that's such a shame but guys if you're going to try it let me know let me know if you do a similar raid uh, maybe we can do uh, maybe we can put your replays in a video when you have a dollar dollar destruction using a similar raid but thank you guys for watching please do like comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out my other videos we do have a collaboration video coming this week maybe you can guess who it's going to be with maybe not but until then you guys take care send everyone